Kentucky had tied this game at 65. Bruce Pearl. Oh, that, that's oh, a good move. Oh, where's the backup music? <laughs> Wall outside, Miller. <laughs> I told you, I told your butt. All right, no, I didn't. Look, I know based on the title of this video that Kentucky fans were waiting to get on here and call me a dumbass and say, you didn't destroy nobody. Tennessee followers were probably hoping to get on here and say, hell yeah, man, we kicked their butts. We destroyed them. Sorry to both of you. I'm not going to say that about this game, and I'm going to tell you why. First of all, I'd like to say this. Is it football season yet? I didn't make a pregame video. Not because I didn't think we had a chance of winning. I know we always have a chance of winning here in Knoxville against anybody. But it's been a very busy week. I had a very tumultuous day yesterday. I was actually going to make a video yesterday. But because of the day I had, I did not get it done. Anyway, that's totally beside the point. So talking about the game. This team still cannot put together a complete game. They had a 19-point lead in the second half and possession of the ball. But now one thing Tennessee did do in this game that they are not accustomed to doing is pulling one out like this. They rarely do that anymore. So kudos to Tennessee for that. Great job, guys. You got a big, huge W in Knoxville against probably the best team in the country. I'm not taking anything away from Tennessee's play in this game because they deserve to celebrate. They deserve to enjoy the heck out of this win. Um, but this team worries me, man. You know, when the whole thing went down earlier in the year with the four players, I thought, you know what, maybe this is going to pull this team together and they're going to go on a run. And they kind of did. They won five games in a row. Then they started bra gradually bringing players back and I said, man, this is going to destroy the unity of this team. And for a while, it looked like it did. But for whatever reason, uh, this team has pulled together and managed to, to get some good wins down the stretch here. Now, they're a lock for the tournament. They're probably going to finish at best third in the East going into the SEC tournament, and that's all well and good. I think they need to get a couple of wins in the tournament to help their seeding. If this team draws like a, a anything worse than a sixth seed, it's going to be trouble time in the tournament. Um, the bottom line here is we need some consistent play from this team. You know, if, if the shoe's on the other foot and Kentucky has a 19-point lead with what I think there was 12 minutes to go in the game, 14 minutes, they put this baby away and run us out of our own gym. But that didn't happen. Um, I'm very proud of you guys. Uh, congratulations, Tennessee Volunteers. Great win, a much-needed win after the game down in Florida earlier this week. Um, I'm worried about this team, man. I am. Great win for the program. Great valiant effort on Kentucky's part to come back and get that game tied up. That showed why they're the number two team in the country. Um, and I think if they can get some issues worked out down the stretch, they're going to be awfully hard to handle in the tournament. All right, go Big Orange. A um, couple games left. We need them. We need them bad. Let's go Big Orange. Great win. Uh, Kentucky fans, nothing to hang your heads about. You guys know you got a great team. You'll do fine. This loss is probably going to help you guys. It's probably going to make you stronger. Bruce Pearl. Oh, that, that's a good move. Oh, <laughs>